Well, hello, Shoreline Church. Uh, it has been, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, it has been an eventful week. I came in on Monday morning, and, and some of our, our top leaders in the church were talking just about all that's going on in our world, from, from political upheaval and tensions to financial challenges and ups and downs in the market to the coronavirus and, and the response of that globally and nationally and locally. There's a lot going on. You're probably feeling it. We all are. But the good news is the God that we worship is a God of peace. As a matter of fact, we made a decision as a team to make a, make a shift and to take the two-week series we were heading into and to cancel it so we could focus on this topic. What is the pathway to peace? How do we find the amazing, powerful peace of Jesus Christ in our hearts and our lives right where we are right now in a moment like this? So I want you to listen to these words from Philippians chapter 4. This is the text I'll be preaching on the next two Sunday mornings. And this, this uh, word from the Lord is not just for people back then, it's for us today. The Apostle Paul is actually in jail. It's a time of political upheaval. It's a tough time. Listen to what the Holy Spirit inspires him to write. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. And I love this. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. We need to walk in that peace, and there is a pathway to peace. So the next two Sundays, that's what we're going to focus on as a church, the pathway to peace. So as this week has gotten eventful, we had a conversation with the chief of police in Monterey just today. And the chief of, we, we said, how can we serve our community? What can we do that will help? And one of the things he said is, it would be really helpful if churches would choose for the next couple of weeks to not gather, at least not gather in their buildings together because of the because of the potential for the spread of the coronavirus. And although we haven't had a lot of that we know about in our community, we know that there's a lot going on in our world. Things are moving very rapidly. And so he said it would be helpful for us if you would not gather in the normal way you gather. Then we talked with one of the top doctors in Monterey from Chomp Hospital, who happens to be not only a member of Shoreline Church, but the vice president of our board. And he said the wisest thing to do would be to not gather in the normal way we do for a couple of weeks and just evaluate and see where things are at. And then the governor of California gave actually a, a formal executive order that says groups of 250 or more may not gather in California. Well, you know Shoreline Church, a, a, a small gathering is over 250 people for us. And all three of our services are larger than that. So looking at all of that, we prayed together, we brought together our senior leaders, we put our, our leadership team together online and face to face for a conversation. And here's where we've come out. We are still having worship services the next two Sunday mornings, but we're doing them online. At our regular times, 8.30, 10 o'clock, and 11.30, we will have services online. And for some of you, you say, well, that's easy. I can go right online. I can do that. For some of you, you say, I don't know how that works. Well, we have an option on Facebook. We have an option on our church website. And if you go on our website, there'll be some instructions and guidelines for that. And then you can even call Shoreline Church Sunday morning and somebody will have a number of people ready. They'll walk you through exactly how to get online or to get on Facebook and to follow the service and to worship with us. So I want to invite you to worship this Sunday morning and encourage you to invite friends to come to worship for a powerful message on Philippians chapter 4 about the pathway of peace for the next two weeks. But I want to ask you to do that with us online. I believe God will bless you and speak to you with the same power as if we were in the same room. We'll just be scattered around the community. And so I invite you to be part of it. And then when we gather for worship, I want to challenge you that when Cole leads us in music and in worship, you will stand or sit with, with a joy-filled heart and sing with all your heart from your home, from your apartment, on your own, with your family, with a group of people. I want to encourage you that when we pray together online, you will join your heart and your mind in prayer. I want to challenge you when it comes time to give that you will give. Maybe you've never done it online. You can go do it online or you can give using the Shoreline app or you can mail in your offering or drop it by midweek because all week long, we're still going to have the offices open. Our whole staff's going to be working. We're, we're going to be doing the things that God's called us to do to serve our community and to serve you in the church. 
we're, we're just going to be canceling some of the other things that happen in the life of Shoreline Church, and we're going to be holding worship online. So I want to challenge you to be faithful in giving in this season. And then when I open the Word and preach, so I'm preaching the next two Sunday mornings on our online services. And I want to challenge you to have your Bible in front of you, open the Word of God, and let God speak to your heart and speak to your mind and do a great work in you and through you. I also want to encourage you that you'll discover that, uh, that the passage we're going to be focusing on, Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 7, will actually be on our Shoreline app and on our website. And I want to challenge you to print out a couple copies of that passage that we're going to have really set up beautifully with some nice artwork and, and you can print it out or you can forward it to friends who are going through stressful times. Put that passage where you're going to see it to remind you of the peace of God and the pathway of peace. But when you're talking to somebody this week who's, who's just getting wound up and anxious, because we're not, we're not responding out of anxiety or fear. We're responding out of a peaceful heart that's listening to leaders around us honoring our governing authorities, talking with doctors. And so for two weeks, we're changing our worship services. Instead of being all together on our campus, we're all together in our homes and scattered around our community. Also for the next two weeks, we will be canceling all Shoreline events, whether they're on our campus or in people's homes. We won't be having community groups, small groups. Uh, we won't be having things on our campus. And all events that happen at Shoreline that aren't Shoreline events, but that we host here, those will all be canceled as well. So if you say, well, you mean the Chinese church won't be meeting? No, that happens at Shoreline, they won't be meeting. You say, well, are there, is the hiking group going out hiking? No, for the next two weeks, everything that we do that's a Shoreline event or an event held at Shoreline will be canceling for the next two weeks. And here's what we're gonna do. On Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for the next two weeks, I'll be sending you a little video devotional. I'm going to take you through some of the most powerful psalms in the Bible, sharing scripture and a couple thoughts that will keep your heart and your mind walking on that pathway of peace. And then one of our staff members will share any updates. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you'll get a clear update of what's going on. And next Sunday, we'll gather online. You'll get a clear update. And the next Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, a devotional time and an update, four or five minutes. It won't be very long, but it'll keep you up to speed with what's happening in your church. And we'll always keep you kind of two weeks out. You'll know what's coming on the horizon. You won't have a single question about that. And if you, if you happen to have a question, call the church because we'll be here. Our staff will be here serving you and serving our community. We also want to let you know that we are going to be keeping a couple things in place because there's people in our community that are feeling anxiety and stress and need, and we don't want to stop serving our community. So if people want spiritual encouragement, guide them to our online services, 8.30, 10, 11.30 on Sundays, or on demand, they can watch the sermon anytime they want to. Just send them to the Shoreline website, guide them through it, and they can be encouraged spiritually there. If people are in need of food at this time, our food pantry will be open, but we're going to do it a little bit differently. We're going to have things available. People will come pick up a bag of food. We'll have a written prayer in the bag for them, and we'll be able to serve that way. And if you know somebody who's really kind of stressing out and anxious, our lay counselors will be ready to have a couple of meetings with people to talk with them and pray with them and give spiritual, biblical counsel to people that need Christians and people that don't yet know Jesus. I believe that in a moment like this, the Church of Jesus Christ can shine the light of Jesus because we're anxious about nothing. We're going to watch the peace of God that passes all understanding guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus because we know who wins. We know how the story ends. We have a story to share with the world because we walk the pathway of peace of Jesus. We'll take wise steps. We'll make wise decisions, but we're not going to panic. We're not going to be anxious because God's on the throne and he's in our hearts and he rules and he reigns. And before we know it, we'll be past this and things will be back to normal. But until then, we will stay in touch with you Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You'll join us online in worship. If you need something, you call the church. We're here for you. And we will press forward honoring Jesus and being a church that helps as many people as possible become totally committed to Jesus Christ. At this point right now, we are planning on the 25th anniversary on March 29th with Pastor Howie here preaching with me and with great worship leaders from the past being with us. That's what we're planning on right now. But you'll know if anything changes. The next two weeks, join us online for worship. All other programs are off for two weeks. And we're praying and hoping two weeks from now, we're back to business as usual. God bless you. We'll see you Sunday morning at 8.30, 10 o'clock, or 11.30. Have a great day.